welcome back to London Nationals Hockey. This past Monday was the awards banquet, and our very own Ryan Robinson was there to get a closer look at the hardware. After the regular season comes to an end, the GOJHL halts before playoffs to recognize their players at the conference banquet. This year, St. Thomas served as host, and the London Nationals came away with plenty of hardware. The February Players of the Month awards were up first, and Isaac Walker got Defenseman of the Month, and Cameron Zanussi took home Goaltender of the Month. Uh, that was something I was working forward this whole uh, month for. I kept saying to Joe, I built it, that uh, this is what I want. I want my last season uh, month to get an award and hear my name get called and being recognized too is a good feeling. Next up was naming the first team All-Stars and a pair of London Nationals were named to the squad. On defense from the London Nationals, Quinn Lenahan. And finally, from the London Nationals at forward, Brendan Trottier. Uh, it's nice to be recognized as the top three forwards in the league, you know. Kind of was leading in points, but there's a lot of other factors when it comes to being selected for that award, so that kind of meant a little bit more to me as far as my defensive and offensive game. There were plenty of great defensemen in the league this year, but the Nationals' Quinn Lenahan took home the top defenseman. Obviously a huge honor, right? The Getting an award from the league to be the top defenseman is it's, uh, kind of hard to explain, right? Great feeling and to be recognized for working so hard and putting all this time and effort into, into the season for sure has been great. The Roy Cayley Award for lowest goals against average also went to the blue and white and their goaltending combination of Cameron Zanussi and Trenton McGrail. Uh, we were told by Tim earlier and it was, it was big for us knowing that we were getting an award for lowest goals. So we... Uh, Kind of joke back and forth at the table a little bit on who's going to go first, but that's about it. <laughs> the top scorer in the regular season award was picked up by the Nationals' Brendan Trotche, an award that he felt a little bit of pressure for coming into the final game of the season against Chatham. You know, I, me and Thompson were going in. He was three points behind me, and I knew I had to have a good game. And, you know, luckily I threw the puck on net, and the puck was just going in for me no matter it seemed what angle I put it at. It just kept going in, and then the penalty shot, uh, I'm not much of a, a shooter, so I knew that if I uh, went down, I'd have to throw some sort of deke or maneuver, and sure enough, it worked, and, you know, it was a night that I probably won't forget for a while, that's for sure. In that game, Trotche netted five goals to set a franchise record as the only national to ever score five in a game en route to his top scorer's title. Yeah, no, I never even thought about that. Actually, I mean, five points alone is a good game, so, you know, you don't really expect to obviously score five goals, and, you know, it's, it's a little bit of luck on your side, obviously, at the same time, and, you know, just a little bit of grinding and hard work. With the Nationals picking up plenty of hardware at the awards banquet from goaltending through defense and onto the forwards, they're hoping that will translate into a successful playoff run. Yeah, I think it shows the completeness that we have and that we can uh, bring here to the playoffs and hopefully make a successful run and go far. Reporting for Rogers TV, I'm Ryan Robinson. We'll be back with highlights of the second period after this.